Hi, I'm Rob Waddington from Rutland Water. I'm a professional guide on here, and today I'm going to show you how to tie a pink booby. Okay, well I've put a hook on the vise now. It's a B175, fairly heavy hook, uh, size 8. And I'm going to start to, to wrap the fly. I'm just going to tie the thread in and just tie it over itself there. So that's absolutely tight. First of all, I'm going to put the booby eyes on. This is how they come, little tube of booby foam. That's a little bit big, so I can get two out of this. I can just show you here. I'm going to just chop that in half. A pair of scissors there. And the trick to this is before you tie it into the fly, just round off the edges. Try and do it quite smoothly. Doesn't have to be too, ac too accurate. But I'm just going to cut the sharp edges off there. have like a little cone. Now then, I'm going to put it, put, tie the thread absolutely in the middle. Like so. And I'm going to tie this round the head of the fly. Till it's in position there and that's about the right spot for it. I'm going to go around the front, around the back and then a crisscross like a figure of eight, round and round. So that's locked into place. I'm going to put a bit of super glue on that later. Okay, so there's the booby eyes. Now I'm going to tie the thread all the way down the body here to get the tail and the body in. Touching turns if you can, and end up just before the bend of the hook there. Now then, we're going to get some pink marabou. Pink is a great colour on Rutland water. There's a lot of shrimps out there, very bright shrimps, tiny little things. Which we can't imitate, they're so small, but pink is associated, I think the, the fish associate pink with, with food here, so it's a very good fly to use. So I'm going to rip some of the marabou off here, if you can see that, twist it, and I like a big tail on these pink boobies, so I'm going to take some more off. twist it quite tight, hold it in position there, pressing it right against the back of the hook there and I'm going to bind that in. I'm using quite strong thread today, this is Kevlar thread, I just want, I don't want it to snap and it's got really good stuff. Take this off here, and as if that's not sparkly enough I'm going to add a little bit of a secret a little bit of a special some of this tinsel there's a mixture of tinsel on this some holographic there's some crinkle and there's some silver but I'm going to put it down the back of the fly there and again bind that in and you should see this in the water when it comes back with that tinsel at the back it's amazing Get rid of all this rubbish here. Now for the body. Now on these you need something that's going to move, that's going to shimmer in the in the water. Uh, Straggle Fritz is very good, this sort of thing. But this is a little favourite of mine. It's actually from a toy shop or a needle workshop or something. You can pick these things up for next to nothing. I'm going to tie that in just behind the tail. 
and then move the thread right up to the head again. Perhaps anchor that the head a bit more. No, that's not going anywhere. Now then, we're going to wrap this round like a palmered body. You could use this with feathers or, as I say, the straggle frits, but this is nice. The trick is to unravel it and then as you wind it round, just smooth it back with your fingers so it's not actually covering itself. Now, I'm an average fly tire. These, they, there's nothing difficult about these flies at all. All I know is that they work. And that's got a nice, interesting, movable body, which I'm going to tie in with the thread here. Get that out of the way. We can actually bring that round the back as well. And tie it in at the head. And my scissors. Just pull everything back. Nice knot on the head. You can finish this off with a knot yourself, but I like the I like a nice neat whipping tool here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tie that off. And there you go. Pink booby. I'm just gonna finish it off. Instead of using varnish, I'm just going to do it very quickly with a bit of super glue. Put a drop of super glue on the table here. Got a piece of a little toothpick somewhere, but I'm just going to drop that in there, hit in there, and in there. Squash those booby heads together for a minute, those booby eyes together for a minute. And there you go, straggly pink booby, perfect on Rutland water. I don't know why they call it a booby though. Any ideas? There we are, there's the pink booby, pink straggle booby, easy to tie. I'm not an expert fly tire, I'm an average fly tire. You can do this. Pink is a great colour on these big reservoirs. We do have a lot of pink shrimps out there, so the fish realise that pink equals food. And it's a great fly, little pink booby head, booby eyes here. Fish this on a reasonably short leader, sinking line. Try different depths of sinking line, but that will pull the fly under and it works really well, especially on the aerators on Rutland Water. And I've caught lots and lots of fish on this.